This video is brought to you by Zarkin Productions, an umbrella group composed of over 10 shows, and an archive of over 5,000 videos covering a wide variety of topics. Please go to zarkin.com for a complete listing of video links, social media feeds, and opportunities to support our content. Thank you for your time, and may I present another Zarkin production. Hello and welcome to Unboxing. Today I'd like to introduce you to the Crane Sports Tabletop Billiards Table. Sports 24-inch tabletop pool table with ball return. Assembled dimensions are 23.63 inches by 13.5 inches by 3.87 inches. Instructions included. Two pull sticks, set of 15 pull balls, one chalk, one black pull rack, and one table brush. Not for use by children without adult supervision. No assembly required. This item is just like a full-size pool table, except this is a mini pool table for children or adults. Here's a closer look at the pool table and the items it comes with. And there's the ball return, making it very easy to set back up after a game. The user guide. The box design may vary, but it's the same thing across boxes. And the underside. But enough about the Amazon posting, let's have a look at the real thing. Here's the box it comes in. Tabletop billiard table. Includes two billiard cues, a set of balls, triangle rack, chalk and cloth brush. Tabletop signs can be played virtually anywhere. Automatic ball return brings the balls back. Some of the same bullet points. Again, tabletop size can be played virtually anywhere and is easy to store. Automatic ball return brings the balls back and keeps the pockets clear and open. Ready to play, no assembly required. It includes two billiard cues, a set of balls, triangle rack, chalk and cloth brush, ideal for all ages and the entire family to enjoy. Spell fabric. Here's the accessories underneath. Let me move these out of the way for the moment. Good solid construction. And there's the other documents. Those off there. Now, it looks like the ball return is not universal. It's just for the sides. So, uh, if the ball goes in on this side, the ball return goes over here. Same for this one over here. As you can see that from under here. So, it's, it's not a universal all-pocket ball return. Just on the sides you hit them into. But still convenient. Alright. For 
accessories. Get the warranty card. Always recommended to get registered, just in case. Warranty period, two years from date of purchase. Six months for removable parts and consumables under normal and proper conditions of use. The balls themselves come in this little box. You probably want to find a container for them that fastens. Essentially, really heavy marbles. Numbers on them, so they work just fine as pool balls. And that's how the ball return works. Here's the user's manual, in case you don't know how to play pool. Table of contents, parts list. And it's really just a parts list, so not really a user's manual. Here is another warranty card in Spanish. So Again, important to get registered. Here is your rack for the balls. Here is the fabric brush, so you don't have to worry about getting a bunch of lint and junk on your pool table. So it starts getting lint all over the place, you're going to be like, no, get that lint over there, so that you don't end up having your balls stripped up by various debris. Or you could use a vacuum cleaner, that probably works too. But most importantly, you have the pull cues. Uh, these are wooden. They do appear to have the usual cork on the ends for pull cues. They're quite nice. Here's the pull cue chalk. Now, how much and often you use the chalk? Your decision. Uh, it's mainly there to keep the pull cue from sticking on the ball. So the ball just slides off of it. Probably want to keep this in its own baggie. It is chalk, so if you don't keep it somewhat isolated, uh, it'll end up everywhere. 
Now, ideally, you'll want to put this on a level surface. How you do that just depends on the surfaces you're working with. Our house leans a little, so there's no chance of that in this demonstration. But you know, if you get on a level, you might be able to fix things. So you have a ready level surface for this whenever you want to play. Another thing, since this is a tabletop pool table, you're going to want to put it on a surface that makes it easy to get to. So we're not having back strain, knee strain, so on and so forth. That way it's a lot more enjoyable. Otherwise, it's the same as you would any other pool table. Just the sticks a lot shorter. So it requires a little different handling, but much the same. So I guess that'll be solids. I'm playing against myself, but we'll try to get into solids first. are pretty light. It's not quite the same impact as a regular pool table. Probably have to be careful not to be knocking the balls everywhere. have played regular pool before and didn't own my own cue at one point. Did win some money. This does feel somewhat different from a regular sized pool table, so different skill sets being learned here. But it's still all angles, all angles and lining stuff up, I'm trying to get stuff in before the other players do. Definitely a difference, but still good. Mainly it's getting used to the difference in weight of the balls, which is obvious, but also the length of the pull cue too, and the weight of the pull cue too, because these have next to no weight with a regular pull cue. When you hold it, there's some little bit of heft to it, so you have some momentum from that. This doesn't have any momentum. So we are doing a little compensation for that. Don't think I'll be doing any trick shots. Tricky anything. I can manage a few things. stay away from that pocket because the eight balls in front of it.
There's only one solid. Well, there's two solids. There's that one and that one. Let me break those up. That did nothing. That did nothing at all. Mm -hmm. oh, well, means I can put myself here. So there's that. So I think this is probably the best way to hold the cue. Regular hold on the front and then just kind of stick your finger on the end and push. Seems to be working the best. I just lost. <laughs> Oops. Best one. Best out of two games. Let's try again. Come here. No, you're in there. It's actually been over 10 years since I played a game of pool outside of Second Life. Which is a shame because I really like pool. Just don't ever have the opportunity. Have pole holes all over the place where I live, but not so much no more. I just have video arcades too. That's better. What I get in? I got a stripe this time. That works. I'm playing against myself. There we go. As long as I don't get the eight ball in again. I got nothing. Nothing I can get in anyway. I'll just smack some balls around. Well, that was us. So it comes with its own challenges, being micro sized like this. Oh, come on. Oh, that was close. Almost lost again. I clearly need practice. I also need to get that eight ball out of there. Nope. Um, well, let's see if we can get the eight ball out. No, it's not as close, at least.
Did that eventually happen? All right. correctly there is be depending on the type of table I think they have ones where the cue ball always ends up in its own return and the others in their own separate return I think those are like paid ones like I said it's been a while Memories are somewhat vague. I just got the 12. close on that eight ball. Again. Ah, and I lost. <laughs> okay, clearly, clearly I need practice. But this is definitely a playable pool game. Uh, it does not take up as much space as a regular pool table. Uh, it takes a little get used to, because again, these are just really big marbles. They don't have a whole lot of weight to them, and neither does this. So there's definitely some weight differences, but otherwise it's a perfectly playable game of pool. It's a lot of fun. This is an excellent product. I totally recommend it. Buy one today.